Hello everyone, got another funny joke for you today. So a big, nationwide operating grocery franchise opened a store in a small, rural town in the Midwest. Since there was only a local farmer's store across the street, the manager decided to bankrupt the local store and monopolize on the town. So he approached potential customers at the door of the local store to talk them into buying in his place because he was much cheaper. The local grocer, noticing a decline in customers, decided to visit one of his regulars and ask what's going on. Embarrassed and shy, she explained, look, it's not you. Your products are great, but times are rough and this new store offers everything you do and more. And it sells everything so much cheaper. I know buying local is important and stuff, and I definitely would if it wasn't for the economy and the braces my youngest needs. We just can't afford buying your $6 a gallon milk when we can have the same for $4.99 a gallon. Upset, but understanding, the grocer left and put up a big sign above his entrance advertising milk for $1.50 a gallon. The franchise manager, Seeing what the grocer is up to decides to lower the prices and puts up a sign himself, saying milk $4.10 a gallon. The next day, the sign of the local grocer said milk for a gallon. Surprised, yet determined to bankrupt the local, the franchiser lowers the price to $3.50 a gallon, only to find the local advertising it for $3 the next day. Confident that the small grocer could never play this game longer than he could, he decided to lower the price to $2.50 a gallon, only to find the sign above his competition's entrance saying $2 a gallon bill the next day. The franchiser, knowing he can compensate losses for longer than the local, decided to go all in lowering the price to $0.99 cents a gallon certain that within a couple weeks he could raise the price again. But instead, the local grocer put up a sign saying, milk 50 cents a gallon. The franchiser was now losing a lot of money without much to show for it and when his competition did not go bankrupt after a month, he decided to investigate. He went to every dairy farmer in the region asking if his opponent had struck a deal and asking if he himself could work out an even better deal. However, none of the farmed had any sort of agreement and offered the franchisor the same conditions as everyone else. Determined to find out how his competition could be so cheap, he hired an expensive investigation firm to follow the local grocer everywhere and find out where he gets his milk so cheap. A month of expensive observation passed without any results. Losing lots of money every day, the franchisor couldn't pay the private investigators any more and had to cut costs for stock, heating, and eventually did all the work on his own in a cold, unclean store. Three months had passed since the beginning of this feud and even though the local franchisor cut costs everywhere he could, he went bankrupt because nobody wanted to shop in such a rundown store. While clearing out the store and removing the sign above the entrance, he noticed his opponent watching him with a giant smirk on his face from the other side of the street. Frustrated and resigned, the franchisor approached him and asked, I can't understand how you can survive being so goddamn cheap. I went to every dairy farmer in the state hired the best and most expensive private investigators and none could explain how a local grocer could sell milk this cheap. I pay three myself per gallon. The grocer replied, oh, well, it's actually quite simple. See, I stopped selling milk three months ago, but I'm glad I can start selling it again now. <laughs>